Okay, so the challenge is, can you answer this question with only this image? So what are we trying to say? What is a reasonable estimate for the limit as x goes to negative 4 of this blue function, g of x? And what you can see is this, we've got a problem here when x is equal to negative 4. So it's kind of interesting to ask what will happen for this limit. I'm Sheldon. For 15 years, I've been perfecting the fastest possible way for students to prep for and ace their math exams. So let's walk through this together. Um, so because it doesn't specify left or right here, so usually you can see a little minus sign here, which would mean from the left, and then or a plus sign, which would mean from the right. Since we don't see any of those, we want you have to look at both. You have to look at the left-hand limit and the right-hand limit. So how do we do this? Well, what we do is if we look coming from the right, so this is approaching negative four from the right. You start over here and then you come over to the left, actually. And but this is this is what's considered approaching from the right. So this g function. As, as x gets closer to negative 4, this g function is going up here and headed towards 2. So we can estimate that the right-hand limit portion of this is equal to 2. Now we look at the left-hand limit. But as we come to negative 4 from the left, we have to follow this portion of the g function. So that brings us down here to negative 3. So if you're enjoying this video so far, I'll pause really briefly to ask you to support the channel. Hit the subscribe button as that does really help and leave a like, a comment, and if you're feeling super generous, repost the video. Okay, so continuing on. Now that we know the right-hand limit is not equal to the left-hand limit, we actually conclude that this limit does not exist. Okay, so how do you find this question um, or what can you do with this question? So you can mark it as complete if you want, if you make an account. Oh, I need to log in here. All right, I think I'm logged back in. <laughs> well, this actually shows you how to get to it too. So you, you can log in, it's a free account. You can click to solvemathexams.com, scroll down to pre-university prep. I have a little typo there I gotta fix. And then in review basics, you click here. I think it's the second or third question. It's the third question. So that's where you can find it. You can bookmark it for yourself. You can mark it as complete. Um, you can see a full detailed walkthrough of everything that we talked about in detail here. And then if you want to challenge yourself later, you can just try and get the answer and then just show the solution.